Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing all super well today. In this video, we are gonna to unbox items from Prada, Valentino and Louis Vuitton. All the items happen to be ready to wear. So if you're interested, please keep watching. We start with items from Prada, then we move to Valentino and then Louis Vuitton. All items that I'm gonna to show you in this video, I have purchased in the past couple months. Anyhow, in Sydney, it's really, really, really cold. So I want to wear ASAP some of the items. So that's why I want to show them to you now. So I can actually wear them. Now, we start with Prada. I'm going to show you three items from Prada. Two of them have been purchased in Prada store in Vienna and one online. And sorry for the packaging, obviously it comes from Vienna, I do not want any boxes, I don't want even paper bags, nothing with the items, mostly, so mm, sorry about it, I've just got this paper bag at home, but usually I don't take anything, no hangers, nothing with it. So, this is the item, this is the A-line skirt from Nylon. Since I purchased these and I have unboxed it in one of my videos, this nylon dress, I just love it so much. And uh, since then, I'm always looking uh, for new pieces from the nylon. Obviously, they are in black color and I do not want to have so much black in my wardrobe because I do not wear so much black. But at least like a one dress, one skirt. Another item I'm looking for is like a nylon shorts, but I want a particular one, so I'm still waiting until they arrive. And some jacket. I think afterwards I will be ready and finish with nylon, but you never know. It's got a pocket. I took off the, all the like, paper, so otherwise it looks funny and fluffy. It's got some buttons and you can unzip it fully. So it is on the side, the typical like belt and with this sort of closure. Now, I had to take Italian size 38, the 40 was humongous. This is in Italian 40 only because here yeah, I'm quite broad in my shoulders and uh, the 38 was so tight here and I really hate when items that I wear are tight, like, I don't like it. So this is in Italian size 38 and I think I could go even one size smaller. That's how big it is made. I'm not sure why, but I still have plenty of room, but I've never purchased Italian size 36. So I said like, no, I'm not going for Italian size 36. And it's always nice to have a little bit of room around the waist. I think definitely size down at least one size guys because this is made really big. I don't understand why most Prada items I do have in Italian size 40. So not sure why. Now the second item is quite big and comes in this cover. Covers I do keep because I like them and I like to keep the items in the covers. This item came out last year, if I'm not mistaken, but usually during winter I'm in Europe, so I'm trying always avoid winter. Unless I'm skiing and on the snow, I do not like cold weather. I really was not after this item because for Sydney weather, it's really funny to wear it. Like, it never gets that cold while I'm here. Since this year doesn't look I will be able to go to Europe, I decided I do want this item. However, obviously it was sold out everywhere. Until I chased it down in Prada store in Vienna. I mean, the essays were super nice. They tried both sizes. They had actually left Italian size 38 and 40. So they tried both sizes for me and they persuaded me to take the 38 because it is big May. It is a puffer jacket. So it is really huge and humongous. So as you can see, it was all over social media and as I said, I loved it, but I didn't want it because if I should purchase a luxury item for one month, it doesn't really make sense, right? Um, this year it doesn't look, as I said, I'm going to travel and next year most probably either. So I thought since I'm going to stay in Sydney during winter, I want something 
like warmer. I do not have any jackets in black actually, any coats in black, nothing like that. So I thought it would be a great idea, especially to my new boots that I unboxed last time. It comes with um, obviously this belt. It's a basic belt. It's nylon. Only here under the polo you can see it's like a felt. I'm not sure of the material. I'm not sure why it's not nylon, but yeah, that's the only bit that I can see is not nylon. And obviously it's line. It is really humongous. Uh, two things. I uh, usually buy my sizes, uh, especially with the jacket, because I'm broad in the shoulders and I've got long arms. So I do like all my items a little bit longer. I really hate it, especially in winter when it's short. So this is on the shorter side. To come around it, I'm intending of wearing it with only long sleeve tops. Otherwise, it would really annoy me. Two negative points, which I'm not sure why, but it's got a fake pockets. So why? If you are already making the pockets, why can't you make the real pockets? Because in winter you really need pockets. This is a bit disappointing. The belt obviously doesn't have a loops, but that wouldn't annoy me because when I'm styling and going out, I want to wear this jacket either opens as a like sort of blazer style or I want to have it fully closed with the belt. So even the belt, I would say I don't mind without the, the loops, belt loops. But the pockets, hmm, that's a big negative for such a luxury brand to make such a mistake for winter. I don't know, what do you think guys? Like, that annoys me a little bit. But this is the item that I really, really want to wear, especially because last few days in Sydney, it's freezing, freezing cold and I do not like it. So I am excited about this item. One more item from Prada comes from online store and it just arrived like a couple days ago. So it comes in this dust bag and I would really love your help guys. It is something controversial. People either like it or don't like it. Now, every time I saw it on other people, obviously on social medias, on the streets, loved it. I love it. Um, I never let myself in it. But I thought with the nylon jacket, I really wanted to have this piece for winter. Maybe even for summer, I saw ladies wearing it at the beach. It is the controversial Prada bucket head. Guys, what do you think? When I've done the video from Europe trip, like the blog and the shopping mall unboxing, I did show you actually a picture of me wearing a bucket head, but it was a Chanel bucket head in a boutique. You told me, whoever you told me that it looks good. Thank you so much. I never forgot about that. And I thought, you know what? I will buy some. Bucket head. These bucket heads on Prada website are all sold out. They come in different colors. I love every single color that they come in. I would love to get other colors, but I'm not confident <laughs> yet. I want to start wearing actually the black one because it is out of my comfort zone. <laughs> I want to see if I will actually take it out. If yes, I may consider buying other colors, but I love, love the green color that is even so popular now. The bucket head came also in that green and I love it. It comes even in white, like light blue I saw, light pink if I'm not mistaken. Such a beautiful colors. Guys, can you please, please tell me your opinion in the comments below what you think, if it's really looking stupid or not. I will show you how it looks and I want to hear your honest opinion. I can still return it, okay? So please let me know what you think um, so I don't do any mistake. Again, as I said, it is something out of my comfort zone uh, and I love fashion. I love everything about the fashion, but obviously I do not have to have everything. I understand that some items do not fit me, do not suit me, and if you tell me it looks ridiculous, I take it, I take it. <laughs> Next item comes from Valentino, and this is again all over social media. I ordered it just to check it out, why the internet is so crazy about it. It came in pink and purple, and by now you know what I'm talking about. 
It is the oversized Valentino shirt that everyone is talking about, having it a geek picture. I actually bought it in pink and purple and I had a chat with one of you. Mitch, I'm sorry. I told you I'm keeping the purple, but I did change my mind at last minute. And the reason why, and I did promise I'm gonna to go away from pink and purchase other colors, but I do have a lot of colors, I promise. I even purchased like purple suit just not long ago. But I thought for, for beach, for every day, I think this color just look better on me. And I asked a few of my friends and they told me it suits me better than the purple one. So I listened to my friends sometimes and it was so hard for me to decide because I really loved both colors. If I go find a picture of me wearing the purple one, I will show you here, but I love it. It is officially on the Valentino website was like a coat. So it is like really, really oversized. I took Italian size 40 and yeah, it is very oversized. So you can without problem go one size smaller. However, as I told you, I love my sleeves to be like longer, not very short. So 40 is just right how I like it. It is 100% silk. However, it is not the regular silk that you would find on the dresses. And that's why when it arrived, I fall in love with it. Like I didn't know at the beginning why everyone's so crazy about this shirt, but now I can see why the quality is amazing. The silk is amazing and there are so many possibilities how you can style this shirt and I've got already so many ideas. So I thought I will be going to Europe this summer. However, obviously it's not happening, but I was looking forward to wear it in summer <laughs> during my trip. But obviously I will have to wait for summer to come in Australia, <laughs> but I love it. I love it. From the pink shirt, I would show you one really lovely, lovely, cute purchase from Louis Vuitton. That's my first one. This is the cap and love it so much. I mean, pink and purple, such colors of this year. Love it, love it, love it. This morning I saw on the website like light pink coming with a Louis Vuitton print. For me, the Louis Vuitton print is a little bit too much, but the colors, really nice. I love the simplicity. I mean, you can see the leather bits here that is LV, but who doesn't know it? They have no idea. Again, the flower, you have to know that Louis Vuitton has the flower in a symbol. This little thing is also leather. It's really cute. It's got a logo. And this bits also is adjustment. I mean, it's in leather. Now, the purple underneath is suede. It's amazing on the touch. And these caps, I don't know why Louis Vuitton makes it only in medium size and large. My head is small, Louis Vuitton. <laughs> Can you make it in size small? I mean, the medium fits still, but there is a room. Uh, and when it's windy, I really would love this to have in a small size. As you can see, I adjusted it to the smallest size, so I can't go any smaller. And I would really love all the caps from Louis Vuitton be made in size small. If it's possible, is it hard? <laughs> One more item from Louis Vuitton comes in this cover and I love their cover. I mean, I've got different covers. I've got this material cover from Louis Vuitton and the other cover, like the blue one, which is like a plasticky sort of. But I think this one, it's, um, yeah, the material one's much nicer, isn't it? Last time when I unboxed the ready to wear, the vest, the blue with the LB logo, you all really liked it and commented that you liked it at least. I loved it, but I already told you that I'm concerned a little bit that there are too many logos for me and I don't know, I'm not reaching for it as often. When this came out, I really fell in love with it. And if it would came out before the blue one, I am pretty sure I would not purchase the blue one. But again, it is a matter of what color you like, what style you like. And I really love this color. Look at the caramel color. I think in the official color, it's caramel. Again, it is a vest. It is a puffer vest. So again, something that is so now in. 
and I love puffer jackets. It's really, really cute. Again, it is in my regular size French 36. If I should compare this to the blue vest that I've got, this is definitely like not a smaller make, but because it is a puffer, I would never be able to go one size smaller, otherwise, like it's too tight. Whereas the blue vest, definitely I can go size smaller because it's got plenty of room. So that just did you know how the sizing is. I would be able even to go one size bigger if I would want even a bigger, like a looser style. Uh, but all my jumpers that I want to wear underneath that I've got for this vest are not that like thick. The vests are great in Australia, especially I mean in Sydney, because the between weather like autumn and spring, even in winter, so many days during the day, sunny, it's beautiful. You just need a little bit for your back and like neck for me <laughs> at least that I do not freeze and uh, this. It's just perfect. It's got gold hardware. Now, this bit, as you can see, is leather, which is really cute. Inside, as you can see, is all like logo. And this, look, this adjustment uh, is also leather. So it's very nicely done. Love uh, the attention to details. And the back is very simple. I love this definitely more than the blue one. This is my style. I love this sort of caramel color for autumn and spring. And I'm pretty sure I will be wearing it very, very often. And yeah, can't wait, can't wait. This is really something I'm so excited to have. So guys, that was it from today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If yes, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would really love you to join my YouTube family. Thank you so much for watching. And I really hope to catch up with you in my next video. Have a lovely day and take care. Ciao.